to the Right Hour podcast. Hello, uh, so I am Marie Dreisey, uh, and I am the founder of the Right Hour podcast, uh, which is a podcast that focuses on p- uh, creating new works from um, new and emerging playwrights. Um, and I am Farouk Sultani, and I am the sound recordist and sound designer and sound uh, person of the Right Hour podcast, which is what Marie said. Go team! So what's got us here today is that um, we sent out an open call in the summer that we're going to do this podcast. Please submit your work. We received over 350 pieces from all around the world and our readers uh, went through them and selected the pieces that we are going to uh, make for our first season, which is going to start very soon. Uh, this is a fun little teaser episode for you guys, just to get you interested, uh, get you to see sort of what we are and what we're bringing. And the podcast will launch completely on, at the end of February, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, today we've got two lovely little pieces for you. We have got Stick and Move by Greg Lamb, which is a fun little piece that will hopefully catch you up on your feet. And then we've got Fortune Cookies by Caitlin Innes Edwards, which has a fun little twist for you, which you will enjoy at the end. Um, and both of the pieces are set in restaurants. Um, which is something that they have in common. This is one of the only things they have in common. Yeah. Okay, let's start with Stick and Move by Greg Lamb. I really like this chicken. It's really good. Yeah, so is my pasta. It goes good with the wine. I don't know much about wine. Me neither, but this is good. I really like Italian food. Do you cook at all? No, but I really like Italian food. Do you ever do stuff like rock climbing or anything? No. You? A little bit. Uh, It's a good time. Uh, Do you want to try any of my chicken? I'm a vegetarian. Anthony, how are you feeling, T? She tagged you pretty hard at the end there. How are you feeling? I'm good, Sully. Yeah, you're so good, you just walked into that last one. You didn't notice she was vegetarian? She ordered the only vegetarian dish on the menu, for God's sake. She caught me by surprise. She's wily. Now listen to me, T. You gotta be more active this round. You can't come at her straight. You should brush you right off, you understand? Stick and move, stick and move. Use the verbal jabs to keep her at bay, but look for an opening. Use an angle that she's not expecting. Find something that connects, then go in for a combination, but keep your guard up. You have to set the pace for this round. Do not let her dictate the pace, you understand? Now spit. Now, go get her. So. So. How about dessert? You look like a girl that really likes her desserts. Oh, jeez, Annie. You think so? I mean, not that you're fat or anything, just that... Just what? Just that you seem like a girl that likes sweets. Right. I mean, the desserts here are really supposed to be great. I mean, nothing but the best, you know? Do you like tiramisu? Well, if you say it's that good, then I suppose... Be active, Anthony! Be active! Hey, Haley. I don't want to read into things too much on a first date and all, but I know I'm being a little weird and all. It's just that I think you kind of have that effect on me, you know? Really? Yeah, I just don't want to screw anything up. You're not screwing anything up, Anthony. Come on, girl. You're doing good there for a while. Keep your focus. Sorry, Doris. He surprised me. Surprise, Sir Schmise. The guy hasn't been able to string three syllables together, and you walk right into his sensitive guy act. You should have seen that bullshit coming from a mile away. Instead, it caught you right under the chin. Is it bad? You're still ahead on points, Haley, but you gotta come on strong this round. This guy has thrown everything he's got at you. He's clutching and grabbing instead of engaging. It's up to you to get under his defenses and hit him where it hurts. Got it? He's been on the defensive the entire night, Haley. All he wants to do is survive the night. He's not gonna give you anything unless you take it from him. Understand? Now's the time to make your move. Back this sucker up against the ropes and bombs away, okay? Now, spit! 
This is the time to make your move, kid. You have to bring it. Don't hold back. Give him everything you've got. So. So. Come on, don't just sit there. Use the heavy ammo, Haley. So, Anthony, my friend Kate is getting married next month. Yeah? Really? Cover up tea. Yeah, she's doing it on the beach. Isn't that so romantic? Yeah, right. Romantic. <laughs> Anyhow, I was wondering if you'd be interested in going to the wedding with me. Oh, that got him good. Yeah, well, wow, that's really... Counterpunch, Anthony, counterpunch! You know, I haven't been to a wedding since my ex-girlfriend's wedding last year. That's my boy. You went to your ex-girlfriend's wedding? Careful! Yeah, she's still a pal. We talk on the phone now and then. I was actually her best man. Really? Yeah, it's kind of a thing. I like to keep in touch with my ex-girlfriends. I hope that's not a problem. I think that's wonderful that you can be so mature as to be in such close contact with one of your former girlfriends. There you go, T. That's the way to tag her. Come on, Haley. You had him on the ropes. He cut me, Doris. He cut me. Shake it off. You're still in this one. You hear me? Beautiful shot, kid. Way to come back. Listen to me, Haley. It's the final round. Last chance to make an impression. Don't get cocky, T. This is it. You need to go for the throat, kid. Keep your eyes on the prize. I can't do this anymore, Doris. Throw in the towel. Sully, I'm punched out. It's rough out there. Come on, go. This is what you've been training for all this time. All those hours in the gym. This is what it's been for. This is your moment, T. This is it's your now time. now or never. It's put up or shut up. It's, it's do or, or die, die time. time. You understand? understand? Now spit. Come on. Don't leave anything on the table. Listen, Anthony, let me ask you something. It might sound weird, but do you ever think sometimes that sometimes we just say things because we're supposed to say them? Haley, quiet! I mean, do you ever think about all of those rules and cautions and things that just keep you from connecting with people? What are you doing, Haley? Do you ever think that there's some voice screaming in your ear about how you're supposed to act, and that's the only thing that's keeping you from saying what you really feel? Anthony, shh! Sometimes I think that, like, there's this short, you know, fat guy smoking a cigar or something, and he yells all this, and it's really weird if I think about it. I mean, if I think about it too much... I know just what you mean. Is... is your voice named Sully by any chance? (laughs) Do you want to call off our day and just walk and talk for a bit? Only if it coincides with getting ice cream. I'll pick up the check. Please, I already took care of it. You're my kind of girl. You know that. Doris! Sully. That was a tough one. Mm, They all are. So, who won? I don't have a clue, Sully. So, what are you doing after this? All right, everybody, that was Stick It Move by Greg Lamb, featuring Ross Kinnerham as Anthony. Zara Plessard is Doris, Pippa Beckwith is Haley, and Dale Savage is Lee. And it was directed by Emma Harris. Um, and I really like the pl- way that the play changes space very rapidly. Yeah, I think it's a really fun piece. And I think uh, once you sort of clock in at what's going on, it makes it even more sort of fun uh, and a new angle to take on a painfully awkward first date that I think we've all encountered. After all, who among us hasn't wished for a Doris or a Sully? And now we have Fortune Cookie by Kaylin Innes Edwards. We are in another restaurant, but a different kind of restaurant. Can you guess which kind of restaurant? <laughs> It's not that weird, is it? Sorry, wait, you're not going to go on a second date with him because he has really small hands. Yes, I can't help it. They really freak me out. Oh, my God. Like, he was really nice and really polite and stuff, but once I noticed, I just couldn't stop looking at them. (laughs) That is just tragic. He can't get a second date with a woman because his hands are too small. Oh, my God, they were so creepy. He had, like, rat fingers. (laughs) I'm intrigued now. 
Hey, he's in tomorrow. I need to see them. Don't say anything. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Uh, can you just give me a hand with this? Oh, Danny the hand. <laughs> hand solo. Shut up, up. <laughs> don't. Uh, Bill for you, madam. Thank you. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Stop! <laughs> I'll get this. No, please, it was supposed to be my treat. No, no, it's fine. I'll put it on the expenses card. No! Too late. Perks of hanging out with MPs. Mm. Ooh, fortune cookies. Haven't opened one of these in a while. You will die alone and poorly dressed. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's accurate. What the hell is that? The fortune cookie speaks, mate. You're going to die alone. And poorly dressed. <laughs> I just got married. Mine says, do not mistake temptation for opportunity. Mm, mm. Interesting. Mm. Temptation is a dangerous thing. Apparently so. <laughs> At least you're not going to die alone wearing a pair of Crocs or something. <laughs> Let's see mine. Probably says my hands are too small. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Still better than mine. <clears throat> you are in danger. Get out now. <coughs> what? That's what it says. Uh, you are in danger. Get out now. You are in danger. Get out now. <laughs> Is that a joke? <laughs> it's got to be. What? What? Someone's going to come and murder you at the table. That's <laughs> so weird. <clears throat> yeah. It's weird. What does it mean? Obviously, I'm in grave danger. <laughs> well, I only invited you out tonight so I could assassinate <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. hmm. I'm joking, mate. I know. I, I, I just... Well, it's a joke one. It's just a joke cookie. I know. It's fine. God, paranoid much? I'm obviously a hot target. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so your card has been declined. What? It's been declined. Oh, I can't have. It has. Well, it's your systems, then. Uh, we've tried it. It says insufficient funds. That That is ridiculous. I'll pay. No, 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 no. I think you should sort your payment systems out. You're out, mate. What? <laughs> Party's way of telling you, you're out. That's not funny, Paul. Fuck off, mate. Oh, it was a joke! All right, let's just... Uh, that's gone through. Thank you, sir. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, complimentary shots for you from the manager. He says it's an honour to have you dine in his restaurant. Didn't come over himself, though, did he? <clears throat> Thank you. I'm, I'm really not that important. Uh, no, he's not. No, only for the state of the future health service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, chin chin. You're not drinking yours, Mark? Uh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. It's a, it's a bloody fortune cookie. Wait, Mark, are you actually nervous about this? Uh, are you joking? If anyone was going to kill Mark, it wouldn't be in a Chinese restaurant in full public view, would it? Shh! Oh, my God! You don't have to drink it, Mark. No, you don't, Mark. Give it to me. Here's to privatisation! Lord, remember when we went out for a Chinese and Mark was nearly assassinated? <laughs> Jesus Christ, so paranoid. I think we should go. Uh, sorry, am I living under some sort of rock here? You actually think you're in danger? No. I think we need to go. Ugh, I don't think. <coughs> Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back. <coughs> I, d I don't think that. <coughs> you're right. <coughs> you're right, Paul. Paul. <coughs> God. Fucking hell. Oh my God, Paul. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh, you dick. That was not funny, Paul. That is not funny. Oh, it was very funny. Oh, Christ, can we just go, please? No, what's wrong with the both of you? You've turned into Queen Eurosis, and he thinks he's in an episode of House of Cards. You're such a knob sometimes. <laughs> I'm the knob. I think you both need to chill out. I've been getting death threats. I've got two last week. One this morning. Telling me to watch my back. I'm not fucking paranoid, mate. I'm signing a bill tomorrow that has the country divided. So when I get a note saying I'm in danger, I'm not shrugging it off as a, a, a coincidence, yeah? You've been getting death threats. Some at work. Some come to my house. Wait a minute, are you, are you saying this message could be real? I don't know. But in my position, I am not ruling it out. Uh, are we in danger? I don't know. Sh shall I call the police? No, 
don't do anything. Well, who do you think it is? It's something to do with the restaurant. They, they, they must have put the note in the cookie. Let's just call an Uber and go. The manager didn't come over. Well, what, what if the Uber driver is the murderer? Fucking hell, Hannah, don't say murderer. What, what then? Jesus, right. I'm going to go for a piss. You both stay here. I'll have a look around, see if anything's weird, but... Anything's weird? What do I do? If you're not back in ten minutes, then we're leaving. Oh, thanks a lot, Hannah. Just go. Well, I'm not going to be ten minutes anyway. It's a piss, not a poo. Mark, look, I think we should go. Now? Yeah. What about Paul? What? I'm not saying anything, but you know what his opinions are on the bill. About paying the bill? No, the other bill. The bill, bill. So... I'm just saying, after all that stuff that happened with his mum... Yeah, but that's that's got nothing to do with me. I know, I'm just saying. It's nothing, I'm just being paranoid. You think Paul wants to hurt me? No, I just think he's talked in the past about disagreeing with things that you do with the party. I just don't know, I don't know. Do you think we should go? I don't know. Right, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, he's coming back. Mark, I was... I was thinking it might be a good idea to come back to mine. <laughs> you know, in, in case they know your address or something. I think they already know my address. Well, yeah, exactly. So, so come back to mine. It's not a palace, but, you know, better than getting shot in the face. Joke! I'm going to go for a cigarette. Yeah, me too. Okay. Uh, and then what? An Uber? You should stay here and guard the table. What's the to guard? Well, just be a minute. Uh, I think we should stay together. You've quit, haven't you? Yeah, but I've got this thing in my pocket here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Oh, it's just a vape stick. What's going on? Paul, I know what this is about. What? I can... I can get help for your mum. What? My mum's dead. His mum died three weeks ago. Okay, but but that wasn't my fault. Uh, I'm not saying it was. What the fuck is going on, Paul? I don't know. You two are freaking me out. Look, mate, I don't want any fudding business, but there's been some serious threats being made at me tonight, and I am not about to get hurt. I know. We should get the hell out of my out control. Of this. We need to saying. sit down and talk oh this. Oh, my God. Who, who turned the lights out? Oh, my God. Please, please don't kill me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is there something you want to accuse me of? If there's something you want to say to me, Paul. Wait. You, you think this is me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, I, I, I don't know what's just happened. But I went for a slash and now I'm the killer. We're not saying that, we just want to know. Right, I, I'm just going to say it. The way you're acting tonight, Mark, it's like you've got a bit of a guilty conscience there, mate. I mean, if you want to talk about it, why is it that people might want you dead, eh? God's sake, Paul. Oh, I'm just saying. I came out tonight to have a Chinese with my friends and I'm getting accused of plotting a murder. It says more about you, really, doesn't it? That when you're around people like me with my opinions that you shit yourself... Look, mate. I'm not trying to kill you, Mark, yeah? I just have a different opinion than yours. I may not always agree with you and what you're doing, but I'm not going to murder you for it. Christ, you, you're my friend! I'm so sorry, mate. It was Lady Macbeth there putting ideas in my head. Oi! I know you're my friend. I just... Maybe I do have a guilty conscience. But everyone does about some things. Mine just happens to be politics. The bill's not signed yet, but... I'm gonna think about it. Alright? Fine. Let's just go. Fucking fortune cookies. Bloody hell. I can't believe I thought I was gonna murder you. Hey, yeah, guess what? Someone got the danger one. <laughs> Always causes a shitstorm. So that was Fortune Cookie by Caitlin Innes Edwards, featuring Paul Sloss as the character of Paul, William Jarvis as Mark, Caitlin Innes Edwards as Hannah, and Hannah Lawrence as the waiter. 
and it was directed by Anisha Srinivasan. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a really fun one to record. We had a great time doing that, and uh, I think it's a fun little piece to enjoy. Yes, I enjoy um, putting suspenseful music under ridiculous situations, and I think I enjoy doing that in this play. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed um, our little teaser taste of what the season has to come for you. We have a lot of great pieces in the work, and we hope you'll stick around to listen to more of the podcast as it comes available. Uh, if you are interested in submitting to the podcast, keep an eye on our website, therighthourpodcast.com, and we'll have information going up on our website of when the next window will be. And in the meantime, um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>